Pepperdine falls 72 to 59 to BYU in the quarterfinals of the WCC tournament on Friday. First half, the Waves and Cougars were deadlocked at 14-14 after one quarter of play, but BYU used a 12-0 run to start the second quarter to open a 26 to 14 lead. The Waves went without a point for the first seven minutes of the period. Pepperdine scored just six points in the quarter and trailed 30 to 20 at the break. The Waves opened the third quarter hitting four of their first six shots to cut it to a 39-31 game. BYU would push it to a 22-point advantage before the fourth quarter. BYU held a comfortable advantage through most of the final period, but Pepperdine used a late 10-0 run to make it a 14-point game. The Waves got to within 13 points, but no closer. The Waves finished the season 7-24 overall, while BYU moves to 25-5 and will advance to the WCC semifinals on Monday. Uh, Coach, we'd like to start with you, please, an opening statement on today's game. Um, you got to hand it to BYU. That's a heck of a team, very well coached, um, and they, they played hard from the get-go. They got two of the best players, Lexi and Kalani, and, um, you know, we, we did our best to slow them down, and, uh, you know, our best just wasn't good enough. And I've got to hand it to my kids. They uh, fought every possession, and, and our effort was 100%. So I'm really proud of them, especially the one to my left, uh, she played a, a heck of a game. Thanks, Coach. We'll uh, take questions for Pepperdine, please, from media members. Please raise your hand and wait for us to get a microphone to you. Not all at once. Here we go. <laughs> Jay, right here. Kelsey, you guys, you were hanging right with them there through the first quarter. What kind of got away from you in the second quarter? I think uh, we just, we, we were getting good looks. We just couldn't hit them. Um, so it was just they were scoring and we, we couldn't score. Um, and that, that's what kind of created that gap that we were keeping up. I think it was 14-14 the first quarter. Yep. And then we couldn't, get, uh, we couldn't get a consistent scoring in that second quarter, and they were. So that, that provided a gap for them. Um, yeah. Jeff. Call Desert News. Um, how tough of a matchup is it to go against Lexi and Kalani and just kind of what they do out there? Well, um, my teammates did a great job of uh, having that responsibility of Lexi and Kehlani. Uh, we had a scouting report that we, you know, looked through and were ready for them. Uh, but obviously, she's, Lexi's the player of the year and Kehlani, newcomer of the year. They're going to score. They're going to do what they have to do to get their team to win. Um, but like I said, I'm really proud of my teammates for fighting. And um, we were very prepared. Other questions for Pepperdine? You guys are too easy. Come on. <laughs> Nothing hard, huh? Sarah? Thank you. Sarah Cazell, the W.TV. When you look at the scoring distribution, really every single player contributed. Mm -hmm. um, who would you say was most impressive to you out there on the floor? For us or BYU? Because I was going to say Kelsey was pretty impressive in the post today. Um, you know, 12 and 8 is, is great. Um, again, you know, Without Erica Agumake on the floor, I think our, our players really stepped up. Um, Kelsey's done a really good job. She had a really great game yesterday also. Um, you know, Allie Green has done a good job. Paige has done a good job. So it's just, you know, we moved the ball a little bit more, and uh, we were hitting the open person. And unfortunately, like Kelsey said, I think we got great shots in the first half. They just weren't falling. And um, I think we, you know, we went a little one-on-one, -on -one, a little more than we would have liked. Um, but at the end of the game, you know, <clears throat> you look at what Kelsey did. You look at what Paige did. You look at what Devin did um, as a sophomore. I, I think we did a, a fairly good job. And again, I think a couple of those early shots go. Um, our confidence rises a little bit, especially with our youth. Um, and you know, maybe it's a different story. 